So we're back, it's Don't Mess With Jim. It's the third week of the Guinness Six Nations and this episode is brought to you by Azuzu. Of course it is. We love them, they love us. How cool. Do I, would I, should I look in a truck? Very cool. But anyway, it's not about me because on this Don't Mess With Jim, I'm joined, I have company. It's the main man from Ireland, it's Irish hero, Ulster legend, friend, colleague, Darren Cave. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Do you like the intro? I loved it, and uh, I, a friend was the favourite, but mm. the rest yeah. of it, you know, uh, friend of Jim Hamilton, that's, that's top of my CV. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> We're going to get into it. We're going to preview Saturday's games first, and it's the big one, KB. Well, it was a big one when I played. Italy <laughs> versus Scotland. The wooden spoon decider. I can't believe it, that just rolled off my tongue. Uh, what do you make of Italy so far? I can't believe that it's worked out so... You know, you joke about it being a wooden spoon game, and it's, it's like it's, it, it really is, isn't it? No, it's not. It's going to be. <laughs> it really is going to be. Um, Italians, I'm not sure about. Uh, they get they get a lot of they get a lot of stick, don't they? But at the same time, Six Nations is a tough tournament at the minute. You know, it's hard to um, who who are they expected to beat? That's my point. If you look at their fixtures, now they shouldn't be 24 losses in a row, but it is hard for them. You know, Scotland are strong. Stronger than they have been in the past, no offence to him. Yeah, no, they have. Because uh, the backs are good now. Didn't have Finn and Hoggy running around when you were playing. No, didn't. The backs were rubbish when I played for Scotland. Absolutely. Phil Godman at 10. Exactly. Rob Dewey on the short ball. <laughs> Great lad, though. <laughs> hell of a lad. Hell of a piece. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so listen, I do think Scotland are improved, even though they're playing for the wooden spoon. So I do expect Scotland to come out on top. I'm not just saying that because you're here. You do? You reckon? I think they will, yeah. Oh, they have they to. Will. For me, they absolutely have to. So Scotland, right, minimum requirement, in my opinion, in this championship is, is two wins. So you've got Italy away in Rome. Italy, and they've been quite public about it, and so has Scotland. Uh, this is their game. This is it for them. So you have the, the France game they always rise to, and we saw in week two of the Six Nations, they did rise to the occasion. This is the one where they'll target and they'll be like, right, Scotland's the game that we can win. At home. At home, in Rome, first home game for them as well, yeah. Italy. Do you know what I mean? They travelled away to France, they put in a really good performance. French were a little bit French in that game. Uh, for me, and for Gregor Townsend, not, they don't need to do it for me, but for Gregor Townsend they do, because it's a minimum requirement. It's Italy in week three, it's France in week four at home, and they go away to Wales in the final game of the tournament. So, The thing, the thing about Scotland, I think it's the par game. You saw it in, in Dublin when they got up into Ireland 22. Uh, same again, I just felt the BT Murrayfield when the conditions, you know, it suited the big par game at the end of the day. Look at England's try, it came from just Genge, the baby rhino, getting mauled over the line. And uh, I just don't know if, Eng if Scotland have that. The, the loose game, um, Adam Hastings throwing those big passes out to Hoggy, turning boys inside out, but it's that par game up front. But a bit of weather in uh, Italy and see them throw the ball around could be, uh, could be a good game to watch and uh, Scotland, could, Scotland could run up a score. Who knows? I want to piggyback what you said there and uh, you're 100% right. Who knew that you knew so much and that's why you're here? I'm a quarter Scottish. There you go. There you go. Mate, you would have had 300 cats for Scotland. <laughs> that is true. Um, <laughs> the power game, they struggle. South Africa... Uh, Ireland in the World Cup, they got whitewashed in that game. England notoriously until the game opened up. Tonga, we've lost to in recent years. Samoa, um, teams that we beat, Australia, right? So we put 40 points, we. Scotland put 40 points on Australia in Sydney a couple of years back. Um, teams like Fiji, struggle, power, power runners. And we've seen that, we saw it at the weekend against England, we saw against Ireland. Did they struggle at the, the power game? A little bit. Uh, around the breakdown, uh, but for me, it's a must-win game for Scotland. They've got Matt Ferguson, he's back in the squad, he's been injured, um, and he got banned as well. And Sam Skinner, who tore his hamstring in the lead-up to the World Cup, he'll make a big difference. The Exeter Chiefs back row slash second row. And there's, where's Finn? Where's Finn? Still on the beers. He's still on the beers, <laughs> in Paris, with Zeebs. <coughs> where's Finn? But at the start of that Ireland game, the way they play when they get moving, like they are dangerous. At the five minutes into the Ireland game, I was like, Ireland are losing today, 100%. It's just when they get in the opposition 22, the ball slows up, the game changes, and do they have that ability? Like in the England game, 
conditions came into it massively, but the longer they held on to the ball in those phases and phases, and particularly against England, when you the English forwards are just getting off the line, clattering boys, they looked less likely to score. So it's hard to know where they're at. It's hard to know. And um, Gregor gets a hard time and all this stuff about Finn. And um, who knows? Who knows? That's it. Scotland, who knows? Thanks for having me. Darren Cave. And one piece of advice I would like to give the millions of viewers is do not mess with Jim. Do not mess with Jim. Get it? Get it? You get See it. what I did there? <laughs>